Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Queen's Wish. We are in the Garden of Puckertude, finally. At long last, we have two quests to take care of. The Day Stage and the Mind Warpers. We'll have a, we have a score to settle with those Mind warfer, Warpers. Mind Warpers, and also, obviously, we've been looking for the Sage Quentin for some time now. Hmm, should I try talking to these guys? There are several Ariel trapped in the garden. They are skinny and their clothes are tattered. The infestation of this place ensnared them. Now they walk around the grove, the groves, tending to the plants. They don't seem to see you. You try to stop them, but they just stumble past, looking for weeds to pick and branches to prune. Okay, at least they seem... Uh, harmless so far. What the heck? The beautiful tree? I beg to differ? It's neither looks like a tree nor very beautiful, but okay. You enter the central grove. The plant growing in the middle is even more warped and horrible than you thought. Its tentacles end in fanged mouths. The fact that it has tentacles in the first place is unsettling enough. And pulsing ochre pods hang from its branches. Turns out finding the source of the infection of these woods was not difficult. You start to draw your weapon, and then your hand stops obeying your commands. Didn't the game tell me earlier that... I, uh, my, my previous exposure to, to these effects made me able to withstand them. I guess not so much. But obviously there must be some kind of gimmick to this, gun, uh, this dungeon here. Uh, you enter the center grove. The plant growing in the middle is more beautiful than you thought. Its tentacles end in angelic faces. I don't know if that is any less unsettling. They sing a song of peace and strength. Pulsing lavender pods hang from its branches. The eggs of more such beautiful creatures. But something is wrong. Something is missing. You have the picture in your mind. Green pods. Food for the glorious tree. You must fetch them. It is urgent. With such a beautiful tree and such an important job, why would you ever want to leave? I guess you're right, game. Whatever was I thinking? Green pods. Green pods. Uh, are you a green pod? You shake this plant. A sticky green globe about six inches across falls out. You take it. Sure. Green... Pod. Oh, I was going to wonder if there were about to be any enemies, and yes, of course there were. And it's spiders. Wonderful. Um, giant recluse. I mean, we started shooting that one, so we might as well continue. Uh, I mean, it's just a couple of spiders. I wonder if I shouldn't try to conserve most of my energy for the final boss fight. But then again, we are still completely full, so no need to be overly... Oh, you know what? I'm dumb. I uh, forgot that... Yeah, never mind. Just uh, don't mind me. Evaded. Well, I mean, we've been doing fine so far in terms of not taking damage, so that's nice. Oh hey, he got his turn. Again. Now that's obviously what I was planning to do earlier, but yeah. I was being an idiot. Alright. Killed an enemy, didn't confuse anyone. That's always nice. Um, cure. And attack. Because the game is being so generous. Can use some shocks here to end this a little bit more quickly. Evaded, thank you. We can use a heavy blow. Uh, that spider is about to die. I guess we can speed this up a little bit, and that was very easy. We got one energy back. We, got, we even got some loot here, but. No time for loot. We have to feed the plant. Uh, trembling with joy, you approach the glorious tree. You can feel its hunger for the green pods. It is raw and painful. And you have a pod. Um, yeah. I mean, I clicked on the thing a bit prematurely, perhaps. But unfortunately, it looks like there is no way to not hand it over now. I actually... For the record, I did hit escape trying to just exit out of the conversation, but it still advanced the, con the, the the dialogue there. That's interesting. You feed the glorious tree all of the pods you have. It gobbles them up, 
sap and spray splattering everywhere. Oh, isn't that cute? But it's not enough. The tree is still hungry. You have been inadequate. You stumble away, desperate to improve. I mean... I'm feeling a little manipulated here, but that's pretty normal for this game. Also, it's very appropriate for this quest here, and it's actually pretty neat. This is a garden. Humans, charmed by the beautiful tree, work it. You envy them, their sense of purpose. The ordinary people wander the rows and completely ignore you. Their guards, on the other hand, are displeased by your presence. You're a new servants of the tree. They are jealous. And thus they're actually going to fight us? I mean, wouldn't the plant want to prevent that kind of thing? It's minions killing each other, thereby reducing the number of minions. That seems counterproductive. Oh wow, that's that was a good hit. And with being an archer, they don't have a ton of hit points, as it turns out. Apparently, yep, there are more up that way. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna have to explore all the pathways, collect all the pods, and feed the the evil plant. At least that's what it looks like. Um, four enemies, but one of them is about to die, so... Yeah, this one is, in fact, going to die from bleeding. This charmer needs to go. Principal. No idea what they can do. Well, they have a ton of hit points, or maybe they just don't take a lot of damage. Either way. Okay, actually that was a really good hit. Okay, so they're dealt with. Okay, that was a pretty respectable hit, but all in all, by virtue of sp splitting up and attacking us pretty much one by one, or at the most two at a time, that was not a particularly tough encounter. Get our next pod. So yeah, it would be nice if the game gave me you know, an option to actually fight the influence of the, of the plant. A real rod. Um, decent magical damage, I guess, but it's two-handed, so... Yeah, obviously. Not good enough to use. Hmm. It's also interesting that these minor monstros monstrosities, which must obviously be related to the big thing, are still hostile toward us? Why would they stop us from collecting food for its master? That doesn't seem to make much sense. Stupid plans, I guess. I don't really expect them to be particularly reasonable. Don't know what that sound was all about? Although I guess... That was probably the slime getting its turn, but being unable to do anything. Or not? No, I have no idea. There are several trees wandering in this grove. Oh, I guess we get an explanation after all. Smaller versions of the glorious tree in the center. They are not glorious. They are ugly, horrible, greedy creatures stealing the food of the true tree. You see one of them swallow one of the green globes. The globes the glorious tree wants. You quiver with fury. You must get it back. I mean, are we gonna actually cut one of them open, or I suppose we'll end up cutting all of them open? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Confusion, shmon fusion. I don't even care. There we go. Gone already. So, uh, no, actually, there's a pod right there, but maybe we'll get another one from killing all of these things. 
We'll see. I would like to fight not all of them at once. But I guess that's not really an option. Okay, um... Well, since there are two of them and they are a little bit nasty... Let's go ahead and slow them down. Buff yourself. Cracked off the entire party. I mean, we haven't been using much mana so far at all. Bleeding immune, right. Can still still deal some extra damage to you. Oh, wait. How did this thing take that much damage? Oh, that was just one really good hit, I guess. Crazy. Again, real pretty good damage, not quite as good as the previous attack. I'll take it. And that's that. Nope. Of course it had to evade, but we actually got to finish it off though. When the horrible, selfish, slimy plant is dead, you chop open his heads, looking for one of the precious green globes. You find one, hooray! Indeed. <laughs> that is what happened. Okay, we were supposed to find five of them. And there are only four available paths, so then it makes sense that we ended up finding two in one of them. Oh, come on. There we go. There we go. So, pick up the next one, see what we get here. An Ariel Char, main hand weapon, arcane gear, critical chance. Um... Yeah, I mean, I, the critical chance is nice, but again, it's not really a very viable weapon, unfortunately. Okay, nothing special here, it looks like. And we get some shades, and no explanation for why we are fighting shades here. Okay, that was a pretty bad hit. They're all watchers, huh? Hmm, I don't know, this one looks the most like some kind of spellcaster, so maybe we'll go ahead and focus on that one. And again, they might all be spellcasters, judging by, the, judging by how they cast spells and all. Maybe I should heal? Hmm. Could have her, have, I could have her cast Poison Rain as well. I mean, it's not terribly effective, but it gets the job done. Okay, thanks for evading. Okay, that dealt some damage. But if all that's left is the final fight against a beautiful, ugly tree, uh, okay, just another one, then we should be okay, probably. The thing is, I wish there was, there had been a way to not deliver the pots to it, but pretty sure that's the only option that we really have to advance this. And, uh, well, yeah, it would be cool if, if there had been a way to, you know, uh, to defy it, basically, and maybe throw the pots away or smash them instead, um, and thereby not strengthening it somehow. And, you know, if you actually do give in and give it the pots, then it will start the, the final fight buffed or something, but I guess it seems like there really is only one way to do it. And the tree is content at last. Yes, it is full. It shudders with pleasure. 
I mean, if it's really full, then that might actually work in our favor. But we'll see. It shudders with pleasure. As you cry tears of happiness, it slumps off to the side a little. It is resting, digesting its meal, and you... Wait, what am I doing? The tree's control of you eases just for a moment. It's enough. You realize what happened. Now is a simple. Now it is a simple exercise of concentration to break free. But the horrible tree realizes what you have done. It straightens up again, ready to charge you. You could flee the garden now, but the creature will be able to rebuild its defenses. Alternately, you could end, end this horror once and for all. I mean, there really is only one option. Okay, it is hostile right now, so I can safely buff. No problem here. I, uh... Well, that was not really what I meant to do. But that's okay. Start with this. Unfortunately, it's immune to bleeding, of course. I don't know if we need to spread out here to... Prevent being uh, hit by AoE attacks. But I guess it can't hurt. I mean, I would love to do something other than just attack, but I guess that's really my only option, so... Here we are. I guess she does have the fast faint thingy which she could use to uh, buff herself a bit more. Gonna have him do that as well. In the past, we've had some good success with um, summoning creatures. Too far away, really? Uh, I guess that should work then. Gonna have you walk away a little bit more, just in case. And you can summon Construct as well. And I guess we'll just keep dealing damage as much as we can. Okay, that's well, not so bad. Um, yeah, no healing absolutely necessary, so I'm gonna just use single target damage here. I could make it poisoned, poison it. I guess I'm the way to say that. Sure, let's let's do it. That did work. could do the same thing, although... Yeah, I don't know. It's This seems too easy so far. So... There might be some kind of trick coming up. Okay, well, that was a lot of damage. I guess that counts as some sort of trick. Although I have an idea about what to do here. If that's really all it does, and if it doesn't like heal itself completely and summon a bunch of adds, I think we should be fine. I mean, I could have her heal. I don't know if it's going to reach everybody, though. Um, can't move at all. Yeah, that's... No, I think we're just going to attack. We're going to have you use your Haven's Mercy instead. That should affect everybody. Yeah, and heal for a very generous amount. Thanks for damaging only your own pet, idiot. It's getting very close here. It's looking good so far. And it's actually dead. Okay, well, that was extremely easy. At last, this gigantic monstrosity has been destroyed. You give it a good, a good firm chopping, then you apply some fire, just to be sure. The dark curse on these woods immediately begins to lift. Dealing with such creatures is just part of life in the Ariel Woods. Not for the last time, you wonder if making these people your vessels is worth the effort. I mean, this one in particular was really not that bad. Alright, okay, and that has appeared as expected. We get another solid magma orb, or... It's not what we used to have. It's obviously a lot worse than what we have, so it doesn't really matter. We can sell that. Steel augment for physical armor. Not sure if we have a use for that. And there is another path. Yeah, right, okay, of course. That must actually lead to the sage we're looking for. At least I hope it does. 
Quentin. Um, there he is. Of course he is. This building is old and rotting in places, but the workshop inside is in fact intact. It is a full alchemical lab, maintained by a druid who used to care for this garden. There is a middle-aged man brewing some mixtures here. He turns to you and you are startled. He is a havenite. His filthy skin and hair can't disguise it. He looks at you with alarm. An intruder! He grabs a step from against the wall. Um, those are my options. I would like to say something like, no, I'm not. I mean, I guess technically I am, but... Um, uh, you're from Haven. Of course I am. Where else would I be from? Don't you know that I'm Quentin of the East Battalion, sage and alchemist for this fort? Fort? He waves the staff at the surroundings. Deepwood Keep, this is fort This fort is on Haven's rightful land, and we don't appreciate rogues and rebels like you sneaking in. Identify yourself. Okay, I am Prince Atanto of Haven. Quentin grows angry. You think I'm so tired that I would mistake a grungy Ukat bandit for my own sovereign? Grungy Ukat bandit, huh? Hmm. You have made a deadly error, brigand. He points a staff at you. Whoa. I mean, I'm not going to outright attack him, but this is not going the way I was expecting it to, or hoping. Lower your staff or else? I am a soldier of Haven. I will die before I dishonor myself to your lot. He mutters a word of command. Slime begins to bubble out of the nearby pots. That sucks. I mean, I did save beforehand, didn't I? I think I did. Uh, this is unfortunate, but I have a slight hope. Right, we were not in combat yet. Um, fair enough. Uh, I have a slight hope yet that um, we might not actually end up killing him. He might end up killing us. Okay, well, I guess we'll start with some slow. Please work. Okay, thank you. Jesus, this is going to be nasty. Okay, so we will use his last mana to charge the guy. Um, yeah, I really hope you just make him snap out of this, out of the mind control. Which, surprisingly, is, or, I mean, not mind control, but just general confusion, I guess. Um, that he's apparently still being affected by, even though the, the likely source of, of, uh, of the confusion is recently deceased. <sighs> I don't know, what, what should I do? I guess I'll just attack him, and if him taking damage is all it takes, then... Wow, he keeps evading. That's pretty impressive. I'm not gonna poison him, so I'll just use some single target stuff. You can use your. Wow, holy crap! Not a single physical attack has hit him yet. That is amazing. He does have over 50% evasion. I guess it's not that surprising, but still, holy, holy moly! He does have an evasion buff, actually. Um. Which, you know, explains that. Whoa, that was a good critical. He has taken a lot of damage, oh my god. Really? Come on. I guess I can disrupt him, huh? Probably should. He has not snapped out of it yet. And he is bleeding now, which is bad, potentially. He's down to 90 health. I mean, I don't know if just dealing damage to him is going to do the trick, because... Well, I don't know, he might... He might just not die. But it's looking less and less likely. Never mind. A few good blows to the head seem to have shaken something loose in Quentin's skull. Uh, that doesn't sound like a good thing, but... We'll see. He lowers his staff and looks at you again. Wait! He sees something new. Who... Who are you? Quentin, I am your prince. At last, the garden spell breaks. Quentin falls to his knees. Oh, Prince, I'm so sorry. I, I was close to Deepwood Keep. I smelled something. I, Now I'm here. I remember nothing else. What happened? You were charmed by a big plant. Oh, well, this is the Aureal Woods. That will happen. 
I must return to Deepwood Keep. Can I have directions? Uh, you tell him where to go. He packs up some supplies and departs immediately. Okay. And he... Thankfully he took all the slimes with him. That's nice. He forgot a skeleton, though. Yeah, that's a, not a big deal, thankfully. Okay, that was scary. I really thought I messed something up in the dialogue, perhaps. That would have been most unfortunate if that had actually been possible to, like, permanently screw up. Quicksilver is nice. Um, extra healing potion is also nice in theory, although we're really running low on inventory space and we've been doing fine in terms of potions, so I'm actually not sure if I'm even going to keep that one. In fact, I've been really using almost nothing but my uh, mana potions lately. I don't know if I if I even used a single healing potion since we upgraded to these better ones. So I could actually even, or I'm, I am actually considering getting rid of some of these. I mean, obviously not permanently, just putting them away in my storage box, but I don't know, maybe not. So do you have something to say? This woman is a mage and high official, blah, blah, blah. Uh, now that the garden has been purged, I have urgent business. Do I? Well, no. salt is noise. What is it? You make demands of me? A blessed... What is this? You make demands of me? A blessed of the Ariel? Here, in the peaceful place? In this peaceful place? What business do you have? I am a prince of Haven. Understood. I know you must be listened to. We have a person for that. Her name is Yair the Dancer, in Sliven. Go, go there and talk to her. She will give you the attention you deserve. Now excuse me. She turns to the garden, kneels and closes her eyes. Okay. I mean, I really didn't have anything to uh, to deal with her, specifically. Well, uh, the Mind Warper's quest, who was it actually for? Hartley of Sliven. Okay. Guess I can do that, and then the Dazed Sage would be... Oh yeah, Malta the Sage and Deep would Keep. Right. So, let's go to Sliven first. What's the quest we have here? Reclaiming the Ariel, okay. Um, now, where is that person exactly? Well, probably somewhere inside. I really don't remember though. Not here, you're the dancer. Because we've actually talked to her and she has not been super helpful, as expected. Oh, hardly. Well, that was fortuitous. Uh, the Garden of Pulchritude has been uh, has been freed of invaders. I mean, invaders? I don't know. I suppose those plants were invaders. You tell him the tale. Such horrors in such a place of beauty. Again, I will send gold and quicksilver to Fort Haven. We are most grateful. You are very good at hunting these creatures. You should hunt them. If they spread, they will infect your own little towns. That is why you should know. I may have learned. Uh, that is why you should know. I may have learned about. Uh, may have learned more about the origin of these horrors. Okay, so we're not quite done with them yet. You have learned more about these mind warping plants. Well, I might have. I have had a letter from the head of the garden, Mercedes. Ivan the Not So Terrible is his name. That's a name. He wants me to go there and discuss the problem with him. Uh, I can't go there, but you can. Ivan the Not So Terrible. I don't know. That is what he's called. We blessed are full of whimsy. Yeah, I'm getting that feeling. What does he want? He said that he has information about them, where they are from, I believe. There is even a chance that they can be eradicated, with your help, I mean. Okay, sounds good to me. All right, thanks. Get some Quicksilver, much appreciated. Still not really making any progress on, on securing any permanent sources of Quicksilver, but I guess uh, getting the next fortress should actually... Uh, help quite a bit with that. And then there's probably going to be another Quicksilver mine or two in the northern half, so it's going to be fine. In fact, going to the northern half is pretty much the only thing that is left at this point, other than, of course, uh, finishing the uh, yeah, the quest that we had. So let's do that real quick. Hop on over here. Go ahead and sell some stuff. Let's 
Ariel Rod and this Ariel Shard. And okay, we cannot sell that. Just wanted to know. All right. So Sage Malta was upstairs, I think. It's not what I meant to do. Wait. Was he not up here? Never mind. So he's actually over here. No, he's not. Wait, what? Oh. Hold on. Am I... Am I being dumb? Or blind? Or both? Um. Oh, Sage Quentin is here. Hello. Uh, you find Quentin the Sage. He has safely arrived in Deepwood Keep. He is surrounded by papers. Not just maps and ledgers, but thick dusty books containing the history of the battalion. He seems entirely uninterested. He stares down at the floor. When you get close, he looks up at you. Oh, it's you. Hello. You look different, by the way. Would you do something to your hair? Um... Hmm. The Ariel Garden really messed with your head. Yes, it did. I tried to concentrate. Then I'm back there. Each day I'm a little better. I will serve. I... I... Uh... Then he just drifts off. Okay. I really need you to get it together. What? Oh, I, I'm sorry, Prince. It's taking time to shake off what happened. I will be better. Tomorrow. Yes. Uh, tomorrow. Uh-huh. Why do I have my doubts? Seriously, though, um, am I dumb? The sage. Malta the Sage. Was he not... Is Malta the Sage not actually... You know what? He's, um... He's not here. Because obviously Quentin is the Sage for Deepwood Keep. He just never arrived. Ah... Of course, Malta the Sage is here. Uh, in here, exactly. I have found Quentin and rescued him. Sure did. You tell his, tell her the story. This is a great relief. We are all impressed that the madness of the Ariel has so little effect on you, Prince. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that. Wait. Okay, we got some experience and that's it. That still isn't open here. How is that ever going to open? Do you have something for me? Yeah, no. I mean, he did tell me to go to Mercedes, and I still haven't. So... There is that. Okay, just making sure... That we can't do anything else. Well, we can go here. Might as well give that a try. Um, give that a look-see. Do you have this extra potion that I really don't need right now? Oh, also I completely forgot to get rid of those things. I mean, might as well hop on over here. In fact, oh, portal is flashing. You hear the voice of your mother. My child, Atanto, are you there? I must speak with you. Hello? Oh, she sounds tired. Right. Yeah, something's wrong with her, isn't it? I'm here, mother. Atanto, is that you? It is good to hear your voice. You have been gone a long time. It is time for you to be returning. I mean, I'm not quite done here? I want to return, but the portal has been repaired for a long time, actually. You're the one who sent me? That's true. Um, I mean, I would like to tell her that I'm not done with my task yet. I did not think you would be gone so long. Perhaps perhaps it is time to return. Yeah, I mean, really, n neither of these options seems like what I would want to say, but... Um, do you need a status report? Status? Oh, yes, you have been gone so long. I'm sure you have done much. Uh, I mean, I made some progress. I'm Actually, I made a lot of progress. Are things going well, I suppose, all things considered? I mean, uh, reintegrating the um, the Ukat into our little 
um, I don't know, our little empire, I guess, uh, worked surprisingly well. Not so happy about the vol. I mean, I guess I am, ultimately, but things are definitely pretty rough down there. So, I guess things are going well. That is good. I had so much hope for you. I knew you could... Uh, mother? Just silence. Well, that's, that's not okay at all. What are you talking about, game? Hmm. Well, that's not great. I mean, I guess I could put could turn it into another mana potion. Because those are definitely the ones that we still need the most of. But I think we are doing pretty fine with three potions each for the time being. Um, right, so I want to sell this orb and the steel augment. I don't know. Do I? Can I actually use that for something? You know what? Maybe. It's uh, it's not bad. I could maybe eventually have a use for it, but uh, right now I don't. And I can buy more. And I really don't see money ever being an issue again, since there is only going to be one final tier of upgrades, basically, once I buy the last one, the last missing one of each of the shops. So, and it, it certainly looks like that will be enough to upgrade everything. And we're going to make more money in the future anyway, so I'm not too worried about that right now. Let's head on over to Pickett's Break again. You enter a narrow pathway through one of the impassable brambles that partitions the Ariel Woods. An ancient stone road stretches to the east, passing a roadside inn. This region is surprisingly not dead. The magic of the Ariel has left a large patch of lush woods here. You hear wildlife all around you. What you don't hear is people. All of the traders, all of the travelers are gone. The inn is quiet. No smoke rises from the chimney. Hmm, getting flashbacks of that one passage through the Ukad, where um, the Ganel la laid an ambush for us, but I'm assuming that's not going to be it's not going to be the same here. Uh, let's see, we have Adam's parents told you a woeful tale of how several of the scouts entered Pickett's Break, another Ariel Thicket. They didn't return. He wants to know what happened to them. Right. Okay, so. Something was amiss here, even back then. Let's check up the inn, I guess. Check upstairs. Hmm. That is locked. And there is nothing else to do here. Alright. Only the blessed may hunt the picket's break. Poachers will be, will be punished. I mean, I'm not here to hunt, obviously. That's odd. At first you thought that the road went east. That's not right. It actually turns sharply to the north. Something nags at you. This isn't quite right. Oh well, you're a prince of Haven. You can't be fooled that easily. The road always turned north. Yeah. Of course it did. Alright. It's gonna be one of these ever-changing mazes, isn't it? To the north you can see three armed Ariel waiting on the road. You can make out the greenish skin of the Blessed from here. At this point, it would probably be foolish to expect a friendly greeting. Hmm. Elgin. Dwissel and Bronwyn. Hmm. There is an old Ariel warrior waiting on the path. He wears heavy chain mail and wields a vicious enchanted Ariel spear. Its tip is not proper metal, but a humming lance of fire. Ooh. Can I have that? You think he is old, but you aren't sure. Elixir usage extends life. He might be 30 or he might be 300. He is definitely mad. I mean, elixir usage extends the life, yeah, but... I mean, if he looks old, then he probably is old, right? We just don't know how old. Well, anyway, whatever. He's definitely mad. He points the spear at you. Stop, colonizer! I am Elgin, and we, blessed, are ready to do our, to do our proper duty. Okay. Are you the one who moved the trees around? The two blessed women to either side of Elgin raise their hands. The trees around you shimmer. Elgin laughs. The Ariel are masters of our home. We use our trees to devour invaders. 
Um, things don't go well for those who try to stop me, and that is a fact. Yes, but you have never faced proper blessed. We have centuries of power and magic, and we are not afraid to do our duty. Your duty? For 200 years I did my duty as a counselor of Mercedes. I remember the ways of honor, of freedom, even if the useless counsel now does not. You were a counselor? I was. I did my duty. I tried to keep the Ariel safe and free. After your kind left, I thought we were safe. I retired to hunt. Now you're back, and none of the blessed are doing anything. So we will. Well, I mean, I kind of admire your dedication, but still we'll have to kill you, though, if you insist on fighting. Hmm. Since you have power, you can help make the Ariel our vessels again? <laughs> I mean, obviously that's not exactly what he wants, though. Hmm. I swear I don't want to make you our vessels? I mean, that's just not true. I really don't think there is a way to not do that. I I'm, other than just leaving, I guess. That is an option, but again, it feels like defeating the purpose of the game. Just have mercy on me and I will leave forever? Yeah, right. I don't know, I'm gonna pick option num number one. No, Queen Sharon tried to bribe us. We refused. You will not own the Ariel again. You will die in these woods. He lowers his spear. The Ariel is there. Well, not a big surprise there. <clears throat> oh, what? How many? Elgin takes 453 points of physical damage? I don't even know how much he had. I was expecting him to be tough, but I guess not. Oh, you know what? He is, a, he is just an illusion. That's why he took that, that much damage. That makes yeah, a lot of sense. Also, the dialogue here that I should have read first, as always. You strike Elgin a mortal blow. At least, that's what you thought was happening. He vanishes. The crackle, the cackle of distant laughter echoes through the forest. Your enemy was an illusion, but a powerful one. I mean, I don't know about that. Fear resisted. That's good. You hasted yourself. You dealt some damage. Alright, these guys have very little health. And if there are also uh. illusions... Yep, sure enough. Uh. In fact, I mean, I, I didn't see it. Yeah, and, and because the text box... Text box. Text box popped up right away. That's why I didn't see that it said illusion right there, but... Yeah. Okay. So it's not quite that easy. Um, in fact... In fact, I don't know how long this dungeon is going to be, or how difficult, for that matter. But uh, I'll consider this a little sneak peek, and uh, we'll take a break here, and continue, or I suppose start this dungeon for real, next time. As always, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.